Okay, we are back on the record on CR 2221-1623, uh, continuing the special sentencing proceeding. The jury has returned its special verdict. The court would note that pursuant to Idaho Code 18-4004, which is the punishment for murder statute in Idaho, that that crime in murder of the first degree can be punished by death. And under Idaho Code 192515, subsection 7a that states that uh, if the jury finds that a statutory aggravating circumstance exists and no mitigating circumstances exist which would make the imposition of the death penalty unjust the defendant will be sentenced to death by the court the courts reviewed the findings of the jurors in the special verdict form they've taken their time through these deliberations to return that verdict and so the court will proceed with sentencing first on counts one through six. And again, this is an unusual hearing because the sentencing hearing has already been taking place. We've heard from the victims through impact statements and arguments from counsel that's already taken place. In addition, a pre-sentence investigation report is not to be ordered in these hearings. So the court does not reference that. The court then orders as follows and this will be contained in the court's judgment at the conclusion of the case as to count one the conspiracy to commit first degree murder and grand theft by deception for the murder of tylee ryan upon the jury's finding of guilty and return of the special verdict form the jury found finding beyond a reasonable doubt and having returned the special verdict that the aggravating circumstances when weighed against the mitigating circumstances do not make the imposition of the death penalty unjust, the court therefore on count one, the defendant is sentenced to death. On count two, the first degree murder of Tylee Ryan, the jury finding beyond a reasonable doubt and having returned the special verdict that the aggravating circumstances when weighed against the mitigating circumstances do not make the imposition of the death penalty unjust, the court therefore on count two sentences the defendant to death on count three the conspiracy to commit first degree murder and grand theft by deception for the murder of jj vallow the jury finding beyond a reasonable doubt and having returned the special verdict that the aggravating circumstances when weighed against the mitigating circumstances do not make the imposition of the death penalty unjust the court therefore on count three sentences the defendant to death on count four, first degree murder of J.J. Vallow, the jury finding beyond a reasonable doubt and having returned the special verdict that the aggravating circumstances when weighed against the mitigating circumstances do not make the imposition of the death penalty unjust. The court therefore, on count four, sentences the defendant to death. On count five, conspiracy to commit first degree murder of Tamara Tammy Daybell, the jury having found beyond a reasonable doubt and having returned the special verdict that the aggravating circumstances when weighed against the mitigating circumstances do not make the imposition of the death penalty unjust, the court therefore on count five sentences the defendant to death. On count six, the first degree murder charge, the murder of Tammy Daybell the jury having found beyond a reasonable doubt and returned the special verdict that the aggravating circumstances when weighed against the mitigating circumstances do not make the imposition of the death penalty unjust. The court therefore on count six sentences the defendant to death. <laughs> 